The lessons of history are quite clear on this point. All paper currencies throughout recorded history have been rendered worthless when they are created out of thin air by governments and not supported by something of real intrinsic value, like gold. Let's think back. Brazil, between 1992 and 1994, the real went to zero. Between 94 and 95, the Mexican peso dropped by 50%. In 96, the yen dropped 24%. In 1997, the Southeast Asian currencies dropped dramatically. In 1998, the ruble dropped 70%. Now, in all those cases, if you lived in any of those countries and you owned gold, your gold holdings would not have declined in purchasing power. So if you own gold, it protects you against something going wrong with your currency irrespective of where you live. All these inflationary environments have had bad consequences because as you keep increasing the money supply and it becomes worth less and less, it eventually becomes worthless. Once it becomes worthless, the game is over. No one wants that to happen, least of all the government, because if the currency isn't accepted anymore, then you really could have a situation of, of a panic or near panic. Will that happen? I doubt it, but we'll get close enough where people will perceive it in that manner. And they'll be very glad at that time that they do have precious metals in their portfolio. See, we've had an artificially high standard of living for the last couple of decades because we've been exporting dollars, which is almost zero cost, and in return those nice foreigners give us Mercedes and Sonys and all kinds of other good things, coffee, you know, whatever. Uh, that's very nice. It's like writing checks that are never cashed. But in the future, these foreigners which have these trillions of dollars are going to ship them back into the U.S. As these dollars come in, inflation is going to explode in the U.S. Interest rates are going to go through the roof. Uh, it's going to be rather catastrophic. The United States is like that character in a Roadrunner cartoon that runs out over the valley and doesn't realize that it's going to collapse until he looks down. So that's, uh, that's where we are. It's, it's going to be unbelievably ugly. I call it the Greater Depression. It's going to be uh, much worse, but I think very different from uh, the unpleasantness of the 1930s. The last two generations are the only two generations in American history that have never seen hard times. Uh, people don't realize that. And what's worrying to me is that uh, when they see hard times, it's going to be very hard. You're going to get a correction that, that it's going to knock you off your, your chair. And if you look at the last five to 10,000 years, there is not one form of paper money that has ever held its value, and every fiat currency has always gone bankrupt. In other words, every currency that's not backed by substance inevitably goes bankrupt, and it's worth zero where gold for the last 5,000 years has held its value, stood the test of time, and has done exactly what investors expect them, it to do, and that's provide value in the long term. One of the great tragedies, the people, uh, not that they are saving today, but the few people who are, who are saving uh, will find out 5, 10, 15 years from now that, the, that the, 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 the savings they put together laboriously may be worth nothing. Uh, if we go into anything resembling a deflation recession, the Fed is just going to open the spigots, they're going to uh, inflate as, as, far, as much as they can, uh, and of course the more dollars in the world, the less, the less the dollar's worth, and purchasing power goes down. I mean, the problems today are much deeper than they were back in the 1970s. Back then we were the world's largest creditor nation, now we're the largest debtor nation. What's going to happen in the future is that the demand for the dollar is going to collapse. It's already collapsing, which is why the dollar is falling on the foreign exchange markets. And as people flee from the currency, I call this a flight from the dollar or a flight from currency, the purchasing power of the dollar is going to decline. It's similar to what actually happened in Argentina a few years ago when they had that monetary crisis. It was an overnight collapse that over a period of weeks and months uh, caused the Argentine peso to collapse. Now it's easy to look in a country and see what's going to happen. It's imponderable what this means for the world's reserve currency when it collapses. The reason that you want to own gold now is because none of the world's currencies are trustworthy, least of all the dollar. The dollar is uh, basically uh, an IOU nothing from the U.S. government. It's backed by nothing. They can print up unlimited numbers of them. And uh, one thing I like about uh, Governor Ben Bernanke of the Federal Reserve is he has a sense of humor. 
Uh, he's got a very wry wit. He said uh, if there's ever any real crisis, a deflationary crisis in the U.S., they can print up uh, dollars by the carload and dump them from helicopters. And I have no doubt that uh, you know he's he's willing on making making good with that uh, with that threat. I think there has to be a sense of urgency in preparing economically for a crisis that lies ahead, because the crisis that's in front of us today is going to be with us for several more years to come, and we're not going to like the outcome.